Hey everyone, today's special because I'm joined here by my host mom. <laughs> Hello. And we'll just be sharing uh, three of her recipes that are very easy to make, uh, very healthy. And I think a benefit of actually being in lockdown is that Jay has been teaching me how to oh, make some, cool. how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> The first recipe we can talk about yeah. is the chana masala. Yes. Chana masala is very easy to cook. And overall, for Americans, what is chana masala? It is a chick piece. Mm. We have to cook it in a uh, cooker for 15 minutes. So once we have the chickpeas cooked... Yeah, then we have to take a pan. Yeah. We have to add uh, oil. Then ginger garlic paste and onion. We have to fry it, saute it. Mm. Then when it becomes little brown, then we have to add garam masala and chili powder. Garam masala, coriander, coriander red, chili. red chili. That is ghee. Actually, I keep ghee in it. Now nothing. That's the ghee pot. That's the honey pot. Mmm, it's the coriander. This is red chili. See, this is red chili. Coriander, one spoon. Coriander powder. This is garam masala. Then you add the chickpeas and you add little if you want. If you can add little cream also, milk cream. And the cream helps thicken it? Yeah, thicken it. And, and it is good to taste also. Mm. And then it is optional. If you don't get uh, cream, you can just add it to the pan and mix it well. Mm. Then at last you add the coriander mm. or you, what you say, parsley. <laughs> <laughs> the second recipe is probably my favorite, shredded cabbage. Yeah. Very simple, <laughs> yes. healthy. So you take half a head of cabbage. Yeah, it depends how much people you are. If you have more than five people, you need one cabbage because we both are eating cabbage. Mm. <laughs> I take only half, half cabbage. Just cut it into small pieces, then keep aside. Then we have to take a pan again. Yeah. So in the pan, you can add oil or you can add coconut oil. Coconut oil, if you add, it smells good mm. and it's very tasty to eat also. And that's very traditional of South India, yeah. of Mangalore, where you're from. Yeah. They, they, we use more coconut oil and more, we eat more coconut. Mm. It is very good for our health. And along with the coconut oil, what are we using to actually flavor the cabbage? Yeah, we have to add little uh, cumin seed mm. and uh, uh, gram, gram dal. dal. dal yeah. We I'm looked this sorry. up yesterday. I'm very sorry to say my English is not so good. It's good, that's you what. Have to bear with me. So, overall, dal, dal. is yeah. similar, if not the same, to lentils. Yeah. And in this, we have the yellow lentils and, and the black, black one. Yeah. yeah. That you have. If you don't get that, you just add uh, lots of onion. Mm. And you fry it. And with curry leaves. Uh, and you can add red uh, green chili also. Mm. Add a three, uh, three, four green chili, and you mix this cabbage. It just smells so good right now. The onions, curry. Is there garlic in here? No, no. No garlic. Ginger. Ginger. And the dal. Yeah. Mm. And uh, take half a cup of grated coconut and add to the cabbage. Smoke the flame and uh, close the lid. You can also add, if you if you want, you can add little water to it. Yeah. yeah, soften it up. Yeah, to soften. It will cook very nicely if you add water. And I know at the end you added a little dash of turmeric. No, no, in the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah turmeric. <laughs> I pay attention yeah, to you. <laughs> yeah, so you are very clever now. You remember everything. This fellow comes to my kitchen and uh, sees what I'm doing 
So he knows better than me now. <laughs> so along with the cabbage, which you made as a side dish, I would argue it could be a main dish, mm -hmm. but we also made a dal recipe. Yeah, dal. Dal is very simple to make. Again, you need, uh, you wash the dal for mm. two, three times. Then you take three tomatoes, wash it, cut it to small pieces. And again, we need a cooker here. Yeah. So you have to, for one cup How many of, whistles are we look, listening see, for? For one cup of dal, you add a two and a half cup of water. Then if you need more, you can add. Mm. But two and a half cup or three cup is enough. So one whistle, when whistles, then you slow the flame and keep it for 10 minutes and off the cooker, yeah. the flame. Then in the vessel you take little oil and lots of uh, cumin seed. Mm. That will be two spoon of cumin seed. Then uh, more garlic, nice. smashed garlic. Yeah, which you use a big uh, mortar for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you don't have that type of stone, you can cut it yeah. to small pieces <laughs> and you can add garlic and onion with little curry leaves, fry it till it is like brown. Then you add again here, you have to add turmeric to get the best color. So Gia, while we're making the cabbage, we're also making a dal curry. Dal is for rice, cabbage is a side dish. Mm. We always make one curry and one uh, side dish. So when we, when this uh, so what onion and garlic become light brown, to add that dal to it. Mm. Boil it, garnish with corn, coriander uh, leaf. Yeah, parsley. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dal is. It takes uh, only five minutes to prepare the dal. Yeah. And you've also, for anyone that's looking to reduce how many carbohydrates, you've just been having the dal, the cabbage as side dishes, yeah. and then having uh, cucumbers Actually, as well. Actually, only with dal, see people eat only with dal, but if you have a side dish, you will relish it, it will yeah. eat, you will eat more. Mm. And it is nutritious also. The last dish yeah. is the tomato rasam. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying that right? Yeah, it's right. It is a, it is mainly cooked It is a South Indian dish. It, it is very good for health actually. People who have cold, they can drink it as a soup also. Mm. So for that, you just have to take two, three tomatoes. Take uh, two or three chilies as you require, and one uh, half an inch of uh, ginger. Ginger, yeah. yeah. So what I did, I boiled it, but instead of boiling, you can just blend it in the mixer. Mm. All of that. Ginger, green chili mm. and tomato. Yeah, to turn it into okay. like a puree. Yeah. Then mm. in a vessel, you have to take again garlic mm. and cumin seed, one big spoon of cumin seed and garlic and onion. And there you're, are you sauteing it? Yeah, then little bit of uh, curry leaf. Mm. Then after it turns little brown, add this puri mm. to it. That's all. And uh, to garnish, you need again coriander leaf. And that parsley. And yeah. it's that simple. It's very simple and it's very delicious to eat with hot rice. <laughs> <laughs> Gia, who did you learn to cook from? Hmm? Who did you learn to cook from? I learned from my mom. How do you enjoy eating here? Oh, I love it. Yeah. This is the best food. <laughs> But I've now been eating Indian food for about three months mm -hmm. and I've always had a really kind of mild stomach issue and those have completely gone away. Uh, I have type 1 diabetes and yeah. you have type 2 diabetes yeah. and my blood sugars have been pretty great. Good. And I'm also just impressed with how many people you can kind of feed on such yeah. simple healthy yeah. food. And it takes little less time to prepare, just you have to you your little time in kitchen and you will have healthy food. Mm. So you tell your friends to eat at home, not to get all that uh, tinned, what is <laughs> yeah. it? Canned beans. Can, yeah, canned <laughs> beans and all. You can get fresh beans at market, get it and cook it. Mm. So we can add more videos to them if they like our videos. Beautiful. So let them first prepare it and taste it, then we'll see. <laughs> Send over the photos and this is uh, Jaya's kitchen. She said if 
people like this, then uh, she'll keep yeah. teaching me how to cook more. Yeah. So that's what I yeah. want. <laughs> and I can learn your language also better. Mm. <laughs> I'm starting to learn English with Eric. Yeah. So it's good to be with Eric. He also comes to my house and enjoys being with us. Thanks for Eric. I'm preparing more dishes now. <laughs> And the nice thing is that uh, we've actually been having dinner out here yeah. on the terrace, listening to the birds. Yeah. Uh, people have seen it in Bangalore mornings and other yeah. films, and nice. it's just very nice. And talking with different subjects, mm. it's good to know how Americans live there, and you, you are learning our culture here. Exactly. It's very nice to meet you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully people yeah. like these videos, they like the recipes, learning. Food is such an important cultural thing. Yeah. Uh, and I'm excited to keep learning. Yeah, you are. And I want them also to give us, learn and give us a feedback. Mm. How is our food? So <laughs> that we can send them more recipes. Yeah. yeah. Okay then, bye. Bye everyone. <laughs> 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 I don't know how it has come, see? Hopefully, we'll find out. Yeah. That's how you so start. What you don't want, we can take it. Yeah. So I'm going out now. You're walking? Yeah. Good. Good, you see, otherwise we can take another video tomorrow also.